Today I'll talk about radians, which is just a different way of expressing the same angle. Just like Celsius and Fahrenheit, they express the same temperature, degrees and radians, they express the same angle. And my hope is after watching this video that your mood will be more radiant. Ah. Now, for radians, all you need to know is the following. Pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. And that's the thing that just allows you to go from uh, degrees to radians. For instance, let's try to figure out what 2 pi over 3 radians is in degrees. Well, everything is proportional, so you just set, and you just multiply uh, both sides, and you set pi times question mark equals 180 times 2 pi over 3, and then the pi cancels out, and you get question mark equals 360 over 3, and that's 120. So 2 pi over 3 is 120 degrees. And here's another way of thinking about this. So you'll see why, but pi 180 degrees corresponds to a semicircle. So 2 pi over 3 corresponds to 2 thirds of the semicircle. So maybe somewhere here. So this is 2 pi over 3. And hopefully you're convinced that this is roughly 120 degrees. And of course, we can also do the reverse exercise. So given a degree, how can you convert in radians? Well, it's again the exact same thing. So let's see, for instance, 45 degrees. How many radians is that? Again, you cross multiply and you get pi times 45 equals 180 times question mark. And so question mark equals pi times 45 over 180, which I believe is just pi over 4. And again, here's a, if you think of it in terms of the half circle, hopefully that should make sense as well. Because again, remember the whole, the half circle is pi, which is 180. Then what is 45 degrees? Well, it's roughly here. And notice you're kind of cutting this half circle into four. So it should be pi over four. Now, that's the first thing to know. Now, why this whole fuss about radians? It's because they make calculating arc length very easy. Because, because suppose, for instance, you have a circle of radius 3. Then, what is the arc length, or in this case, the circumference? The circumference is just 2 pi times 3. So 2 pi times the radius. But what is 2 pi? Well, it's basically 360 degrees. Right? 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. And so in particular, the awesome thing about radians is, in order to get the arc length, you just multiply the radius by the angle in radians. So here's another important thing to know, so arc length equals uh, angle in radians times the length, uh, times the uh, radius. So for instance, suppose you're having an angle of pi over 4, again 45 degrees, and a circle of uh, radius 4, then the question is, what is the arc length here? Again, by that formula, what makes it nice is that it's just pi over 4 times 4. And that gives you pi. You see, you cannot do that with degrees. With degrees, what we would have to do is convert 35 degrees into radians and then use a formula. That's why in math, we really like radians. They make stuff much easier.
And before I do a couple more exercises, let me just uh, talk about some very important radian measures because we'll do trig very soon. And so first of all, there's zero degrees, which is the same as zero um, radians. And then there's 90 degrees. Well, remember, the half circle is pi. So 90 degrees is pi over 2. This is pi over 2. And then, well, what happens if you do 45 degrees? Well, that's uh, the half of that, so pi over 4. And then two more to know is, on the one hand, 30 degrees. With, if you want, it's two-thirds times that, and that gives you pi over 6. And also, uh, this thing here, which is 60 degrees. 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. Those are the important ones that you'll see, but I would like to remind you that angles could be negative. So if you tell me minus pi over 6, it still means 30 degrees, but you move clockwise. So you move down from the zero, and you get this angle, which also is minus 30 degrees. So whenever you see minus, think clockwise, or like think it goes the other way around. Last but not least, so it turns out some uh, radian measures are very big, and what we would like to do usually is to have radian measures between 0 and 2 pi, because that corresponds to the circle, but luckily there's an easy way of converting between the two. So I guess last exercise, let's find an angle between 0 and 2 pi that is equivalent to minus 53 over 6 pi. So I think the notes they use coterminal, but it's the same thing, or it is equivalent. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me tell you an example. Suppose you have the circle, and I tell you pi over 2. Notice you can add any multiple of 2 pi and still get the same angle. So pi over 2, that's actually the same thing as pi over 2 plus 2 pi. Or if you want, that's 5 pi over 2. Because you see, adding or subtracting multiples of 2 pi, it just means complete revolutions. So you do end up at the same point you started with. And in particular, because of this, you'll see soon, you can actually express any radiant in terms of an uh, angle between 0 and 2 pi just by adding and subtracting multiples of uh, 2 pi. Now, how did we do this in this example? In my opinion, I know the notes give you this weird way of adding 2 pi. In my opinion, it's just easier just to find divide 53 by 6 and see the quotient and the remainder. So if you divide 53 by 6, I believe what you get is, let me just check. Um, yeah, uh, you get a, a quotient of 8, and then 8 times 6 is 48, and a remainder of 5. Okay. So what does that tell you? It tells you that minus 53 over 6, that is minus, again, 8 times 6 plus 5 over 6, again, times pi, and then this becomes the same thing as minus 8 pi minus 5 sixths pi. But remember, multiples of 2 pi don't matter. They give you the same radian measure. So really, this angle is the same thing as the angle minus 5 sixths pi. Now, the only issue is, this is not between 0 and 2 pi, but in this case, just add 2 pi to it until you get something between 0 and 2 pi. So in the end, you get this is minus 5, 6 pi, and then plus 2 pi. And then you simplify this, so I believe this gives you minus 5 plus 12 over 6 pi. And that gives you 7 pi over 6. 
So an angle that has, you know, points the same direction as minus 53 over 6 pi is 7 pi over 6. And that is much easier to handle with. So uh, I think now it's much easier to graph. So 7 pi over 6, that's slightly more than pi. Okay. So it's slightly more than the half circle. So it's probably somewhere here. You see, which is much easier to draw than minus 53 pi over 6. All right, and that's, I think, all you need to know for radians right now. Again, if you have any other questions, you know, uh, comment, or if you're in my class, email me. Uh, all right, thank you very much.